So we're now going to talk about doing some advanced techniques for the drag flick, so a follow up from the previous video. I'd say the first point, a lot of people have made comments about their stick angle. People have been saying that their, their problems with their stick angle doesn't, it either goes too far this way to try and get the ball to roll up their stick, or things like the sticks try to angle up because they want to aim high, or the opposite, because they want to make sure it stays on the floor. So what I mean by that is, as you're doing the, doing the drag flick, try and keep the ball, as soon as you start touching the ball, try and keep the stick going towards the target and not angle that way or that way or up, up or down. So you spend all your energy pushing the ball that way rather than against. With the rotation, a lot of people have mentioned to me actually uh, that I say to over rotate afterwards and try and finish towards the dugout, but I don't do that. I think that's a really good technique to learn how much rotation you need. Um, the other point to, uh, with it is that you don't need the rotation much beforehand because you lose control. It's the same sort of thing with a javelin thrower. A javelin thrower won't turn and face backwards to then get the rotation. They'd be in control of it and then explode and rotate. It's the same sort of thing with drag flicking is that you need to be in control of the ball. So all the things I've been talking about with stick angle you need to be in control of the ball and then when you want to explode, you really explode and rotate and get the power. So I would say try to refrain from looking backwards and over rotating before, your, before the movement. It's such an unnatural technique, drag flicking. You get yourself into like a, so trying to do gym exercises for it is you end up getting in a position like this and then sort of like throwing a ball like that, like a medicine ball because that's the closest movement there is. The one last point I think that is, will really help and kind of helped me a few years ago is your last foot. So when you make that last plant, you can try and put that foot aiming towards where you want to go. Because if you end up trying to go right, say in the goal, and you aim left with your foot, the ball's going quite far away from your body and then vice versa, if, or you'll very rarely like, put your foot right and then try and flick left because your foot will get in the way. So try and get your foot aiming to where you want to flick the ball. Sometimes that can be a bit of, uh, a, that can be detrimental because you're telling the keeper where you want to go. So if you can get even better at it, then you don't have to be as obvious, but definitely to learn and to pick up power, try and aim your last planting foot towards where you want to flip the ball. Mentality when you're training. So I've been told that I don't train hard enough with my dry flicks. Everyone isn't 100%. You start just sort of, I'm um, going through the motions. If you're doing 20, 30, 40 a week, and then you're actually going, right, I want to flip this ball as hard as I can at that place. And every single one is like that. You'll get improvements. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm trying to up the numbers I do a week and properly focus on what I'm trying to achieve in that session. So, um, say flicking the ball harder, I'd try different things to try and flick the ball harder, but every single one, I'm actively trying to do something to make it go faster or harder. So, really, really focusing. <laughs> However, I, well, I don't really know. My brother was a drag flicker, so I, whenever he was practicing, I started doing it as well. Uh, so it's probably I just started when I was younger, and so therefore I've got, I've, I would say everyone in my pit, of my age group, I've done more of them than anyone else in the country, probably by a long way, and that's probably the only reason that I am one of the better ones, is that more, I've done more of them. <laughs>